Urinary tract infections are typically ascending infections, meaning that bacteria colonizing the urogenital skin enter through the urethra and travel to the bladder where they cause infection. If the infection ascends to the kidney, it is called pyelonephritis. Most UTIs are caused by Escherichia coli, or E. coli. It has a variety of virulence factors that make it a powerful uropathogen including fimbriae, or finger-like projections, that allow it to adhere to the wall of the urinary tract. Many other bacteria are washed away by the normal flow of urine, but uropathogenic E. coli remains, grows, and ascends. Because E. coli has very effective mechanisms to cause infection in the urinary tract, it is often the cause of UTI in children with normal anatomy. Children with abnormal urinary tract anatomy, such as VUR or ureteropelvic junction obstruction, are much more likely to have UTIs caused by less virulent uropathogens, like Citrobacter or Enterococcus species. If a patient has a UTI caused by an atypical organism, one must consider whether there is an abnormality in the patient's urinary tract and perform imaging tests to further evaluate. The symptoms of urinary tract infection in older children are similar to adults. In addition to fever, the child may complain of dysuria, abdominal pain, increased urinary frequency, or hematuria. Infants often present with fever only, and it is difficult to distinguish UTI from other causes of fever in these young patients. Less common presentations of UTI in young infants include failure to thrive or prolonged neonatal jaundice. Symptoms of pyelonephritis in older children include fever, vomiting, and flank or abdominal pain. Younger children cannot describe their symptoms, and evidence shows that most infants less than two years old with a febrile UTI have renal inflammation. Therefore, we consider infants less than 24 months with a febrile UTI to have pyelonephritis.